gingerbread man. Why is they a girl lady? I don't know. But before we get started, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Let's do an unboxing from Big Tiffany. So, gingerbread man cookies. Here's the gingerbread man cookies. There's 20 individual of them. Oh, what you need. There's all these instructions. So first we're going to take out the little, actually unwrap this. That's creepy. It says, happy holidays. We wish you, you and your loved one. Save a happy holiday. Love the activity. I'm going to think. Okay. No fake there, you know. Okay, we have the gingerbread man cut out. Brown sugar. Never tasted brown sugar, but I think my mom uses it. Brown clover. A whole thing of flour. We don't have a needle. Cinnamon. It's spicy during the holidays. Um, these are mint um, jaw breakers. Mm -hmm. We have baking powder, vanilla sugar, and ground ginger. And also some salt. Don't eat salt, it's not good for you. And then we have green frosting. Oh, that might be white. I think this is red, this is green, and this is white. Nothing else. From the box, we have the ingredients are one egg, a rolling pin, a spoon, a whisk, parchment paper, two um, cookie sheets, a one eighth of cup of oil, a mixing bowl. Now we're going to open up the directions for Gingerbread Man. So let's see. So this one is step one instruction. So this is step one. Step one says wash your hands and preheat the oven to 350. So I'm gonna wash my hand a lot of soap because uh, it's COVID and I need a lot of soap on my hand. Now I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. Ready? Now I'm gonna follow step two's instructions. So this is step two, everybody. It's an even number. In a bowl, whisk together an egg, brown sugar, and vanilla sugar. So we have in one egg, and we're gonna crack it. That was weird. Now I have to wash my hands again because there's egg yolk. I'm an expert at egg cracking because look how good that is. There's a little piece of that in there. That's fine, someone's gonna eat it. Now we're gonna put the brown sugar and vanilla sugar in, so I'm gonna do the brown sugar first. There's a lot. It's not coming out. Uh, uh, it's not getting out. I finally got the brown sugar up and now I'm gonna pour it in. <laughs> That's just like a rock. Now we are going to put the vanilla sugar in the bowl. Oh, this is not as hard as the brown sugar. And now we're gonna whisk. Come on. I'm waiting. There we go. We can just do it with the whisk. <laughs> I just smooshed the egg. It's really funny. It already smells good. You can't lick the whisk because you have other ingredients. And another thing, egg's not good. Raw egg, you cannot eat. Now we're going to follow step three's instructions. Step three is an odd number. Well, three is. Step is not an odd number. Okay, now let's read. Slowly add in one eighth cup of oil, beating while you're pour, pouring in the oil. Okay, that was better than I thought it would be. Now we're going to follow step four's instructions. So this is step four, and it's an even number. You're also learning math today, the evens and odds. 
Okay, step four is instructions. Let's read. Can continue mixing with a mixing spoon and add the flour, baking powder, salt, ground ginger, cinnamon, and ground clover. So first we're gonna get flour. That is a lot. Now we're gonna pour in the flour while we're stirring with our spoon. So we change to a whisk to a spoon. Sorry, Dad, for getting flour in your clothes. Okay, now I'm gonna stir it some more. Now we're gonna cut open the baking powder. Now we're gonna do salt. And we're going to be stirring also. I think that's all. Now we're going to pour in some ground ginger. That just went up my nose. Don't smell it, or it's going to go, the spice is going to go up your nose. It's still in my nose. And now we're going to do the cinnamon. So it's not a problem. I made it smell cinnamon. It's a few minutes away. And if you want to know what the time is right now, it's 9.42 a.m. The next ingredient is ground clover. I never heard of it before, so I'm going to smell it before I put it in to decide if I want to or not. So let's do it. Smells good. Disgusting, but I already cut it open. I think I want to put it in. And now we're going to whisk. Mm. Now we're going to read step five instructions. Step five is an on -up. Okay, when a dough begins to form, start kneading it with your hand until you have a smooth dough. This makes take some time, but be careful not to knead too much as the dough may become too sticky to work with. Okay, I rolled up my sleeve because this might get messy. I've been kneading and kneading and it got in my fingernails and it's not like Play-Doh. It does get in your fingernails but not all over. And now going to read step six. On a parchment paper, roll out the dough one for thickness. I might have to wash my hand because I don't want to get other things dirty. Now we're going to put the dough onto the parchment paper, so let's do it. And we're going to roll it out, so I'm going to get it closer to me. I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't break it. It's getting smoother. Oh, I just daydreamed. That felt weird. Yesterday, I woke up at 5.14 in the morning, and Dad, don't ask why. It's just because of my clock. Ever since I got that clock, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story while I'm rolling. Um, ever since I got my clock in the room, I I keep waking up early, and then I fall asleep. My mom wants to take it out. So that's the end of the story. I'm gonna read the story. Goodbye. Now we're gonna read step seven instructions. So this is step seven, and it's an odd number. Using the gingerbread cookie cutter from form shapes out of the dough, remove all the scraps of the dough from, from around your shape and re-roll re them to be able to cut out more gingerbread with. Oh! So I already got started. I just need to push it down. Now I'm gonna roll the dough out. So... Ooh, just this little stuff. 
pretty good. Transfer your parchment paper onto the cookie sheet. Now we need set nine instructions. It's an odd number. Please place in preheat oven and bake for 10 minutes or until edges turn golden. So we're going to go over to the oven. While we're waiting, I have a song for you guys. Okay, let's go. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. You don't know me. You can't go to my bad side. You can't go to my, you always go to my good side. Good side is better than my bad side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Things have been different. Did you like that song? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yee! I'm so excited! The cookies are all done. The cookies are all done. Now we're gonna let them cool completely and this smells so good. While we're waiting for the cookies to cool, um, we put some warm water for the frosting to come out. And we put the drop makers in to a little container. I think we used the drop makers in a gingerbread house video. Ooh. We got some light, a little. The icing has softened, and now I'm gonna decorate the cookies however you want. You don't have to do it. Like they do it, you can do it however you want. I'm gonna grab the wood. I wanna to try to do the outlines and then the ones. It got really messy, but that's okay. tried. frosting that's okay it's gonna be messy in my belly we're gonna stop using the frosting and we're gonna taste test so I'm gonna taste test on who out Luca Luca yeah you want to taste test some sure and it's all frosting I know it couldn't come out it's all frosting I know Okay, now I'm going to taste test this one. Mmm. 
good. <laughs> Luca, how much percent is this? I don't know. Have to choose one. I don't have to. Yeah, you do. If you're getting so thinking. Luca, give me a percent, or you're not getting another one. Um, uh, maybe something like uh ninety-five to a hundred. And probably because you put uh, way too much frosting on it. But don't kids love frosting? I love frosting so much, and we have one child to get to, and that is too big to read it for this awesome bachelor. Thank you so much, Big Tiffany. You make my day feel so much better. And we have a special subscribe to my channel so you can be part of my Unicorn Baking community. Bye. Now that the cookies are all done and they're on this. Cut. Cut. <laughs> One. Mm -hmm. No, Luca, get back here.